Welcome to Culture Pop Collectibles, where everything we sell and talk about is pop culture. I'm your host, Anthony Thomas, and today on CP Daily, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do a little bagging and boarding. I bought a collection off of a gentleman, and I'm gonna bag and board. I'm gonna pull ten books out there out of that uh, collection and just showcase them. And uh, I bought like five hundred books. So, um, off this gentleman, so, and he has some pretty neat books, some books I haven't seen before, at least, uh, uh, some books I haven't seen, and some, of, a lot of them I have duplicates of, but, um, I think it would be pretty cool to, uh, to show, show not show quotes, but showcase those, and, um, before I forget, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and the question of the day is going to be, I'm going to have the question of the day at, um, close to the end of the video and see what you think. So let's get started. First up, let's talk about the bags that I'm using. The bag that I'm using is Ultra Pro uh, uh, Comic Series, uh, current size bags. Um, I'm using, uh, you know, acid free, obviously. Always use acid free Ultra Pro. I don't even think sell non acid free bags and boards so um definitely let me just show you that that's just to cover out the bag uh i use those and also use a uh, uh, bcw also so let, uh, uh, i'm hitting i'm hitting the table let's get started let's get started First book up is, I think is a cool book. And, and like I say, another thing I do is always put the acid free uh, coating on the side that the book is gonna touch. I make sure that's you know touching the bag, uh, touching the book itself. And if you're new at this game, you know, this is the app. As you can see, the glossy side, non-glossy side. You can tell the difference by the light. Just look at the difference, the gloss on that. Look at the non-gloss on that. So the book will go on this side. Touch that. So. Book I have first up is Fantastic Four number one came out in 1998 and uh, this is the hero's return the legend begins anew it has Mr. Mole Man and this is actually the artwork is pretty good in this Scott uh, Labdell and Alan Davis did the story and the art and Mark Farmer is the inker as well as Liquid is the colorist so I'll put this And, I, and the tape I'm using is Scotch I'm two strips Strips of tape. And that is the Hero's Return. And the next up, next book up I have is um, now this, this particular book. I have not seen this book and I thought it was very interesting when I seen it and this is one of the, one of the reasons why I bought the lot because he had like four I think he had like six of them in there and I said and uh, that's what you know 
intrigued me. One of the things, anyway, that intrigued me when I seen that, I said, wow, I've never seen that. So, um, in, 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 <clears throat> in this particular um, series, you have several artists in this. You got Ed Mingus, you got Loeb, you, uh, you got Lee. So you have Stanley, obviously, the Stanley meets Dr. Doom. This is the uh, uh, title of the book. And they have uh, several story arcs in here. You got a Stanley um, writer, uh, Salvador is the artist in the first story, and David uh, uh, Lapierre is the letterer. And uh, the next story is uh, Jeff Loeb is a writer, Ed Mingus is a penciler, and Texture Vines is the inker, and Jason Keith is the colorist, and Comic Graph is the letterer. And then the next story, True Believer, is Tom uh, Badland is a story and arc, and The Power and the Pride from Vantage 487. June uh, 1969, Stanley is the writer, Jack Kirby, Cole Plata and Penciler, Penciler and Joe uh, uh, Sonata is Inker, and Artie Simic is a letterer. And so they have this. The story is, the art in this is awesome. I mean, this guy, um, Salvador, he knocks it out of the park in his first story definitely worth getting and it, it means it does a great job as well in his storyline Michael son so I think you will like this issue here Stanley meets Dr. Doom that's book two now book three is um, a cool book it's Nova number three this came out in November and he's here, the ultimate superhero, the man called Nova, inner diamond head, and as he, an exit, Nova head, Nova dead rather. Um, classic artists is Sal Buscema and Tom Palmer. Um, Marv Wolfman is the writer to and writer and editor, and Ivory. W is the letterer, and Michael W is the uh, colorist, and the artwork is definitely good. I mean, Sal Buscema is a classic artist, comic book artist. And oh, yeah, here he had a newspaper, a newsprint, uh, paper stock, the newsprint, paper stock in this, in this boy. And this is a classic. Classic uh, issue. Definitely, definitely. Cool book. Definitely a cool book. Now next up we have um, we have X Men number astonishing X Men number one and John Cassidy Cassidy rather John Cassidy John Cassidy and artwork is good. Not a lot of talking, but you know, in 
until you get to certain areas in the book. But this next, this book here is, is a, a keeper. I'll probably end up putting this one on eBay to sell. be on eBay for sale. I'll sell that one. Next up we have another Stanley Meats. This one here is Stanley Meats Doctor Strange. This is number one. Bagley uh, is the artist in some of this. He did the cover obviously. Uh, uh, and the first story arc Alice Davis is the artist in the first story. Art Stan Lee is the writer. Stan Lee, he was, he, he was a good writer. I mean, he had a lot of cool uh, ideas on stories. Definitely classic writer. Um, in that first story, you have uh, Stan Lee. Alice Davis is the penciler. Mark Farmer is the inker and John uh, Kellis is colorist. David Lahir is letter. And the next story arc is Brian Michael Bendis is the writer. And, and that story arc is where is Stan the man when you need him. And uh, Mark Bagley is the penciler and Drew Hennessy is the inker and Studio F colorist. David Lahir letter. Principal Stanley. That's the next story arc is uh, Chris Garcia, Garuso, probably pronouncing that one, story and art, art, while the world spins mad from Marvel premiere num, uh, number three, July 1972, uh, Stanley writer, Barry Windsor Smith, plot and penciler, Dan Atkins, inker, and John Costensen is literal, and then they show Joe Quesada is the editor-in-chief Dan Buckler is the publisher and so forth and so on this is definitely worth getting this one I will these here I might hold on to for a while before I put them up for sale I haven't had a chance to read them but I love the artwork and since they got Stan Lee on them I think I will hold on to these here just from a collector's standpoint Just like the Dr. Doom, just if you didn't get a good look at it, Dr. Doom. Stan Lee meets Dr. Doom. And next up, I have uh, the N. This is a Peter David and Dale Keona. Uh, Keona, the N Hulk. This is artwork as Dale Keona. The storyline in this was is, is real good. I thought it was cool. Uh, uh, Peter David he is the author. Uh, Del Keon is the artist. Joe Wims and with Lipsey is the inker, as well as Alville, Avalon Studios and Dan Kemp Color and John Workman is the letterer. This is um. Definitely. I had this one already 
taped up. I'll take it back. Next up, I think you're going to enjoy this one here. I haven't had a chance to read this one. This is another book I got out a collection. And I have, uh, this is book seven. Uh, I have books one through ten of this series, I think. I know I got one. Yeah, I have to double check. But I know I got one through at least seven. I think I got it all. But this one here is D DK3, The Master Race. This is a DC comic, Miller, Kirby, Jason, Anderson, and Azra. This is Batman and Superman. Now, the, this is uh, Frank. Frank Miller, Frank Miller, uh, I think Frank, to me, Frank Miller did better in his younger days as artwork or if, unless I'm missing something, but I like this stuff here was Rush and not a whole lot of thought on the layout, but, and then they got a little small book in the inside, they got a, a you know, let me show it. have a smaller book in the inside of this book. It's either a separate story or a tie-in story or whatnot. But basically this book here is DK Master Race. I love the cover. Shows uh shows Superman and Batman all battered up and look like they've been at war. Another Stan Lee meets this one here is Stan Lee meets the thing and uh, this Stan this monster and this is a homage to the Jack Kirby cover and in this in this particular one you have uh, Stan Lee writer Lee uh, Lee Weeks is the breakdown. Nelson Fisher is the um, uh, Nelson is the finisher. Paul Mounts is the colorist, and David Lahir is the letterer. And the next story, is so you want to play hey, and Roy Thomas is the writer. Scott Collins is the artist, and David Lahir is the letter. And what if is the uh, next storyline is John Ryan and story, John Ryan story and art. And, and after that, a monster forever. This is a classic story from Fantastic Four number seventy nine, October nineteen sixty eight. Stan Lee was the writer. Jack Kirby is the co plotter and uh, penciler, and Joe Sonata is the inker, and Artie Simic is the letterer. Definitely, definitely. If you run across these books here, grab them. <laughs> I mean this. Even not even for the uh, uh, 
from a collector's point. We'll grab them from the, just to be able to read, to enjoy the stories, and as well as just saying, hey, this is something Stan Lee put his signature on. This is cool. I think this is cool. And next up we have another astonishing X-Men. This is a, another classic cover by Casada. Cassidy? Oh, I keep saying Cassidy. I think it's Cassidy. Cassidy. John Cassidy is the artist and J Jose is Wyndham is the writer. Colorist is Lauren Martin. Letterist is Chris E. I'm just going with Chris E. on that one. But I like the simplicity of the cover. Just the character and the colorful background. X-Men number three. And last up is, well, first of all, before I get to the last one, I want to say the question of the day is, have you ever seen the Stanley Meets books? And if you do, and if you have, which ones do you have in your series? And what do you think of them? Have you ever seen these books? Because this is the first time I've seen these books. So if you have seen these books, do you ha have you read them? What you think of them? I haven't had a chance to read them, but from the little bit I looked at, I think they, they seem like they're awesome because they actually showing you some stories from past comics you know in this particular one here they're taking they taking um because here stanley meets silver surfer in this one here so they're taking they're doing a new story where stanley's talking with silver surfer and also with a comic book reader and then they're doing an old story. From Silver Surfer number 14. Silver Surfer number 14. Sky Rider of the Space Waves. And then that Silver Surfer number 14. He was interacting with Spider-Man. And Stan Lee and John Piscima, writer and artist. Inks, inker is Dan Atkins, and letter is Sam Rosen. So with this Stanley Meets, and they all say number one, number one. On these Stanley Meets is all number one issues. Okay, in this particular one, Stanley uh, Meets Silver Surfer. Uh, Stanley is a writer. Mike, Mike, Moringo is the penciler, and Sean Parson is the inker, and Chris uh, Sotomayor, uh, Sotomayor, Sotomayor. 
is the colors and David Lahir is the letter the magician Paul Jenkins is the writer Mark Buckingham is the artist Pete is, Pete, Pete Pat is the color and David Lahir is the letter Stanley meets his doom uh, Jacob Jabat is story and art and the story and the uh, story at the end the silver the surfer and the spider from Silver Surfer number 14, March 1970. Stan Lee is the writer, John Buscema is the penciler, Dan Atkins is the inker, as well as Sam Rosen is the letter. Just for that, it's worth getting. But that story alone is worth getting. If you can find it. If you can find this bad boy. You can see I bought a collection off of a gentleman. 500 books. At a good price. But he has some. Like I said, I haven't really looked through everything. But the one, or I looked through a couple book, uh, boxes and. Pff, so yeah. Friday, I'm going to share a collection I bought of uh, cards, sport cards. I bought um, about 10,000 cards off the same guy. So I bought cards and comics off him. I bought 500 bo uh, books and I bought 10,000 sports cards. And in the sports cards, I'm going to do the same thing I'm doing with the books. I'm not going to try to show all those at one time. <laughs> That's that's a long video. I mean, this video here is long enough. Because <laughs> I'm taking my time and just giving you a little detail on some of the books and stuff. And I'm going to re you know, re-show you some of these books. Oh, sorry. I hit the camera. Um, let's just do a recap. But yeah, on those... On those... Uh, cards... And I'm going to show you on Friday. This, those, this video won't come out. I'm shooting this video. I've got this day. The day is uh, the 31st. So this video is going to come out in two weeks. So, so when, you, when you see this video, just remember, two weeks. Uh... Here we go. Recap. Fantastic Four. Number one. This is Hero Returns. Stan Lee meets Dr. Doom. Number one. Nova, the man called Nova entered Diamond Head. Number three, Astonishing X Men number one. Strange. I think it's a cool book. I love that cover. I think I, I think uh, Doctor Strange has a classic costume. The end. Hulk, Del Keon, and Peter David. TK3 featuring Superman and Batman 
Frank Miller artist. Andy Kerbert is the cover artist on this. Andy Kerbert is the cover artist. Stan Lee meets a Silver Surfer. Astonishing X Men number three. Wolverine. Cassidy is the artist. And last but not least, Stanley meets the thing. This Stan, this monster. So that's gonna do it for today. We wanna thank you for uh, watching Culture Pop Collectibles and we'll see you next time. Next time, uh, we're doing um, an unboxing. So we'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. And we'll see you when we see you. Be safe out there.